An exciting morning indeed, Tim and Erica. And as we await the arrival of the First Lady and Dr. Miguel Cardona, you were in for a real treat this morning because joining us right now, three young educators hired by Dr. Cardona at the Hanover Elementary School. We have Lee, Julie, and Desiree. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Lee, tell us a, bit, a little bit about Dr. Car Cardona. He hired you. Yeah, so I was hired by Miguel um, as a social worker at Hanover School. Um, always so supportive of staff, of the students. He always put students first. Um, he was great to work with. I think, you know, what you see is what you get. He's so authentic of a person um, and great with families. And it was just, it was a pleasure to work with him. And as we bring Julie into the conversation here, Julie, you were saying you were the very first hire Dr. Cardona made as a principal. What was that experience like for you? Uh, it's so exciting. I mean, I had the opportunity to work with Miguel for a decade. He was a phenomenal principal and such a true leader. And, you know, his story is just such an inspiration to kids, not only here in Meriden, um, but across the country, you know, and what they can truly achieve when you put your heart into something. And Desiree, talking with you this morning, I'm really getting the impression that uh, Dr. Cardona respected you as an educator, but also as a mom. I know you have a, a young son with, with special needs. Tell us about that. Yes. Yeah, so as I was teaching and Miguel was at my principal, um, I was pregnant with my son who I found out had Down syndrome. And uh, I can't express enough the gratitude I have towards Miguel, not only as a, a leader, but as a um, his compassion, his dignity, and to this day when we see him, um, his interactions with my son, it's just really nice to see that he doesn't just say things, his actions are behind it, and, and he really does put children first. How does that empathy translate into the job he'll take on now, do you think? I think that he, he lives it, he breathes it, you know, and it's, um, I think sometimes people can make decisions based on their agenda, but that's not Miguel. It never has been. It never has been. He really wants, it's a team effort, um, and he really, like I said, puts children first, puts families first, because really he has children in the public school system, right? And so he's going to treat others like he wants to be treated. Julie, he's being charged with getting these public schools across America up and open during this pandemic. Can he get it done? I think so. I mean, our schools have been open since September. You know, we've been full-time in person. That's what kids need. You know, they really need our support, not just academically, but socially and emotionally. And, you know, he's invested in that. Lee, I am sensing maybe a class trip to Washington, D.C. Yep. What are your best <laughs> wishes for him as he takes on this new post? Oh, just I know he's going to do a great job. He has a whole community behind him right now, his family behind him and a lot of support. Um, he's going to do great things. Ladies, thank you so much for joining us this morning. A big shout out to the entire team at Hanover Elementary School, home of the what? What's your mascot? The Hanover Hounds. The Hanover Hounds. Uh, so many thanks to you. Congratulations. We will have much more throughout the morning. Do you want to point out coming up in our 10 o'clock hour, we're going to talk to the principal here at Benjamin Franklin and also some of the kiddos who are hopefully going to get a glimpse of the First Lady and Dr. Cardona firsthand themselves. A lot more to get to, but for now, live this morning in Meriden, I'm Keith McGilvery, Fox 61 News.